Good morning. I'm so happy to show you and to be here for my first time in Madeira. This is an island in the Atlantic, it's part of Portugal. I never been here and I know they have so much traditional food. I will ask the locals where's the best place to eat, the best food to eat right here. And I'm gonna explore this beautiful island that is Madeira in Portugal. And to start our trip, let's find a place to have some nice Portuguese breakfast. Olá, estamos dizer onde é que tem uma boa pastelaria? Uh, boa pastelaria. O dia de hoje é complicado, está fechado, mas tem ali uma padaria. Padaria, ok. Por aqui? Olá. Eu estava a ver com os dois, olha, que ele segura, não está com ele segura, mas assim mais para lá tem a padaria, que é a Mariazinha, okay. está lá a okay. depois. Ok, obrigado. Lá. Olá, bom dia. Tudo bem? Tenho umas perguntas para si. Queria lhe perguntar o que comer aqui tradicional da madeira. Muito bom, espada. Espada? Espetada. Espetada, ok. Obrigado. Árbitro. Tchau. And so we find Mariazinha, the bakery shop. Let's go and see what's inside. Alright, to start today, I got myself two traditional cakes. One is traditional from Portugal, pastel de nata. The other one is uh, typical from Madeira. It's called queijada de requeijão. I never tried this, so this should be cheese inside. And let's try it, it should be nice. Oh my god, mm -hmm. I was expecting this to be harder, but it's very, very soft. Because it's just a thin, such a thin layer of the bread, and then it's just sweet cheese inside. I think Portuguese sweets are easily my favorite, but I'm also Portuguese, so... Mm. My god, it's perfect. So, so delicious. The famous pastel de nata Portuguese tart. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> Oh my god, it's delicious. There's the crunchy part, but it's so thin also, on the outside. Just a little bit crunchy. And the custard is made perfectly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in my heart, nothing can beat this cake. <laughs> it's just the best cake in the world. Mm. And after this lovely and sugary Portuguese breakfast, we keep searching for the best traditional food in Madeira. Olá, bom dia. Bom dia. O que tem aqui tradicional para comer? A sopa de peixe. Ok. As lapas. Estou procurando duas coisas, o bolo de caco, onde, onde encontrar o melhor, e o bolo de mel. É sempre em frigo, fica esta rua, uh -huh. fica para a direita. Ok. E já está lá. Muito, Muito obrigado. obrigado. Igualmente. Olá. Então vou levar uma banana maracujá. Ok. E uma pitaia regional. Tem que abrir como se fosse uma banana. Ok. E vai comer aquelas sementinhas do maracujá. Ok. Qual é o melhor sítio que o bolo de caco? Sim, então aqui ao lado, na rua do. Você vai aqui. Ok. Cruza, tem mesmo o bolo do caco quente na hora. Perfeito, é isso que eu quero. Um bolo de caco com manteiga de alho, okay. por favor. Vai levar? Sim, vou levar. Okay. I bought all this traditional food and I want to eat it in a beautiful place. So I decided to go up the cable car. So this is our way to a point view that should be beautiful. The locals have told me it's a very nice place. I bought some traditional food to eat on my backpack. I cannot wait to, to eat it. We have bol do mel, bol do caco, and we have two exotic fruits from Madeira. Oh, it took me a while to get up here, but here I am and I'm excited to try this traditional stuff from Madeira. We have bol do caco with the butter garlic, fig, dehydrated fig, this is a passion fruit banana I forgot the name of this one and we also have bolo do mel I will start with the fig, it's just a fig that gets dehydrated very good, this is a pitaya very tropical, oh my god it's so it's like so juicy look at this beauty it's not uh, too sweet but it's so soft and so juicy. Mm. 
Oh, this is so fresh. Gone. Let's try now the banana passion fruit. I think it's a passion fruit that, be that came wrong. Mm. I just sucked it. Mm. Let me drink a bit of Brisa. This is the typical juice from Madeira. Passion fruit Brisa. <laughs> Very soft. Soft. It doesn't have many bubbles, just a little bit. Just the perfect amount, I would say. Next up, we have the Bull de Mel. Okay, it's basically corn oh, and honey. I almost fucked it up. And I see some almonds. Ooh, ooh. I see raisins, nuts, almonds. Let's try this piece here. Mmm, mmm. This is such a different flavor. It's a bit moisty, but also sticky. It's amazing. It's amazing. I already ate three cakes, two fruits, and I still have a giant bol do caco. So here is the typical bol do caco. The difference is they also put sweet potato. Let's try this. It's a soft bread, garlicky, because of the one I chose. It's spongy, which makes the butter go right away into the bread. It's very soft, even the, the crusty part. But I'm a bit disappointed. Uh, we're now going downtown again, trying to find the restaurant so we can get some traditional food. Bye. So I came up, I thought I would see something up here. The toboggans to go down the hill, they are closed and that's what I wanted to do. Now I'm going down and look for some restaurants and some food to eat. Estou à procura de um bom restaurante de, da Madeira. Oh, Cristo, uh, olha, por acaso, onde tem o Cristiano Ronaldo, tem lá um restaurante okay. que não é caro. Yeah, ok, obrigado. Yeah, bom dia. Bom dia. And so, here I go in search of Cristiano Ronaldo. Sim! Entering now, Cristiano Ronaldo Museum. Ticket 5 euros, no idea what's inside. Probably his trophies and everything, so let's see it. After seeing Cristiano's golden balls, all I had left to do in Madeira was to eat their traditional food. Again, I guess, yeah. I ordered myself something very traditional, starting with lapas. This is seafood, typical from Madeira. The meat from Madeira that comes in a, a stick. I'm gonna also try the bowl to cook again, I wanna give it a second chance. Also, the famous fish soup from Madeira. And I'm gonna try everything, let's see how it is. We start with the bowl to cook. You can see the butter, the herbs, the garlic. Let's try it. Ah, this one tastes much better than the last one. Okay, let's go to the limpets. You can see a lot of herbs, a lot of sauce. The gentleman told me to put some lemon on it. Such a nice bite. It's not soft or soggy. You can taste the ocean and lemon makes it perfect all together. Of course, don't forget to dip your bull to caco in this delicious liquid that is left here. Mm. And here's our famous fish soup from Madeira. Big pieces of fish, herbs, tomato, garlic, oreganos. It looks delicious. Mm, nice spice. The fish tastes very fresh and the broth is very savory. We go now to our beef skewer. It comes in this stick. It's cooked with salt, pepper, garlic powder, with bay leaves. Salad comes with apple, cucumber, tomato, cucumber. 
very flavorful. The rice? When my guitar gently leaves, I'm gonna get copyrighted. I look at this rice and I see that it's garlic. Will my mouth gently eat? After you finish, you, you become a wizard. We are the own, bring me the dessert, please. Anyone? Before finishing the meal, we have the traditional Madeiran Veludo pudding. Look at this beauty. It's made with eggs, with sugar, with caramel. And there's only one way to finish a pudding in Portugal. Before we finish our trip, here's my review of the restaurant. And please subscribe if you enjoyed my pudding eating skills. <laughs> Thank you. So that was the restaurant we just ate. Very cool place, I was expecting it to be worse. And we tried all the traditional food that we had too. My belly is full. We tried the bol do caco for the second time. It was much better this one. The fish soup, it was also very good with tomatoes, spicy and everything. We tried the famous skewer with the beef. It wasn't perfect but it was also very tasty. And we tried their pudding that is made with honey and caramel. There was, it actually rem reminded me of the puddings that my mom did back home. So, amazing lunch that I had. Oh, and also the, the seafood was very, 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 very tasty. One of the best ones I, I had with the boldo caco sauce and everything. Whoa, it was very good. So back to the ship. I'll see you there. Alright guys, this was beautiful Madeira, thanks for joining me on eating all the food that I can. Subscribe right here on the ice cream cone and uh, I will let you watch another food video right here on the side. Every time food, we're gonna go with as much food as we can. <laughs>